Welcome to AutoSense, the world's leading community for ADAS and autonomous vehicle technology development. We create best-in-class events, training, and information for the purpose of connecting the global community of engineers, scientists, and other automotive industry experts. We are joined by one such expert today, Henry Corin, the Chief Product Officer of Imitest. And Henry, welcome to AutoSense. Thank you for being here. Glad to be here. Always enjoy seeing your backgrounds whenever we get a chance to meet and talk. And so, Henry, for anybody who may be new to AutoSense for the first time, tell us a little bit about Imitest. Give us an overview of what you do and some of your solutions. So at Imitest, we focus on measuring the objective image quality of imaging systems, uh, all types of cameras. Automotive cameras are... Uh, one of our principal focuses. Uh, I think anything where there's uh, safety involved is uh, kind of more important to us. So we have a, a variety of products. Uh, we have uh, test charts uh, that you kind of put in a controlled environment. Uh, you capture images and video of those test charts uh, with your cameras. Uh, we have uh, test equipment that is meant to uh, facilitate kind of reproducing the environment that you are used to using or your, that you intend to use your camera in inside of your imaging lab. And uh, that may involve uh, producing certain light levels or you know, covering your field of view or you know, simulating the distances that you may be using your cameras at, uh, which can, can be difficult, can, can require uh, you know, a target projection system or you know, bright light sources. Um, and then there's the software for doing the analysis of these images. And we use these kind of standards uh, based routines for uh, analyzing, you know, performing the, the analysis of those, those regions and uh, extracting those key performance indicators. And uh, we've just recently uh, started to do testing services. So if you don't have the internal uh, budget or resources to, you know, build your own test lab and operate it inside of your organization, or you want to kind of um, augment the existing capabilities that you have, uh, we have testing services where you can send, send your cameras to us have our uh, team of experts uh, perform the test for you and generate really nice reports. Yeah, that's excellent, Henry. Good transition to our next topic of discussion, the Imatest Benchtop Test Stand, which enables evaluation of long range resolution and stray light performance in a compact environment. Henry, tell us a little bit more about the Benchtop Test Stand and uh, get our viewers acclimated to what that is. Uh, so the Benchtop test stand, um, we actually started it as a um, a system for testing uh, medical medical cameras at at a close close range, and then we kind of started to play with the modularity of it and and seeing what sort of add ons we could um, incorporate with it. So uh, we uh, added a target projection system to it, uh, where you can um, you know project a a, a collimated uh, feature of uh, for measuring resolution into the entrance people of your camera. Um, we incorporated a uh, a motorized track that can you know can set that working distance precisely. Um, a, a motorized gimbal that can uh, tilt the camera relative to the uh, the the target source. Uh, and then another target source that we've added is a, a stray light source, which is a, a very bright collimated light source. Uh, which is uh, kind of intended to replicate somewhat the um, the properties of the sun, you know, the, about the angular size of the sun, and and kind of trying to uh, get get it so you can see, you know, what's the effect of uh, large amounts of light on the rest of your image, and you know what what in, unintended consequences do you have to that uh, that bright so source in your image, and so um, the the bench top test stand that kind of allows you to kind of reconfigure for these various purposes and. And uh, we think it's going to be really, really nice for automotive testing. Uh, it's uh, kind of uh, a little different than our collimator fixture that we had uh, uh, been quite popular for automotive, which was intended to fill the field of view, um, but you know had some limitations. Uh, 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 you know, could only go to 120 degrees field of view. This new system can cover lenses that you know are as wide as you can can find, and and um, project light into them at any angle you would like. 
We're speaking with Henry Corrin, Chief Product Officer of Imitest, talking about the Imitest Benchtop Test Stand. Uh, Henry, from your perspective, what standards will help us then improve automotive camera quality evaluations? So uh, Imitest, we're involved with uh, multiple multiple standards organization. Uh, there are the IEEE standards, which are kind of more application focused. Uh, the most applicable one to automotive is the uh, P2020 standard, and that has a collection of uh, standards for uh, measuring uh, contrast, dynamic range, noise, resolution, stray light, geometry, and uh, these uh, these standards are in the kind of process of oh I forgot LED flicker that's another important one these these standards are in the process of, of being finalized right now and validated uh, in that P twenty twenty committee uh, so we think that's really uh, important work there um, we've also been uh, championing this this new kind of measurement which is called information capacity and this is the measurement of signal and noise from a, a single region on the the image. And uh, this is uh, become a new work item for the ISO Standards Committee. We've actually gotten our ISO number for it. It's ISO 23654. And this is going to be, uh, I think it's going to be a game changer because uh, these standards are used to kind of measuring things independently from different parts of the image. This measures things together from a single part of the image, which I think is uh, important because signal processing can treat those different areas in a different way. And, and by, by kind of combining the measurements together, you can kind of, uh, uh, you know, minimize the impact of the signal processing or make sure that you, you, you capture the effects of that signal processing in your measurement. Uh, and there are, uh, some, um, other, other standards. I mean, there's ISO standards that are really important to the, the stray light standard for flare ISO 188844 part two, uh, it's somewhat similar to the 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 P2020 standard for for stray light evaluation and you know that's another one that we're supporting with our our light source and equipment Henry when we started talking just a, a moment ago you mentioned safety automotive safety as one of the prime motivators behind Imitest what concerns today when you look at the market when you look at the industry Henry what concerns do you have right now about automotive safety Oh, well, I might somewhat be repeating myself since last year uh, uh, regarding the the choice of components and the uh, the price sensitivity when it comes to the selection of those components. And, you know, I think we're continuing to see that uh, while there's a lot of investment in sensors and image sensors, uh, very high dynamic range, high quality image sensors, uh, the lenses do not uh, match up with the quality of the sensors. And so uh, essentially by um, having internal reflections in the lens, uh, having reflections set inside the cam camera body, uh, that stray light is is a potential source of, um, you know, inability to resolve features in your image, which could, could lead to safety issues like squashing pedestrians. And uh, we don't want that. And so uh, we we are continuing to to champion this stray light evaluation as a uh, another image quality metric that has kind of previously been overlooked. And, you know, and I would say that uh, it's it, the industry hasn't immediately embraced this and say, hey, let's let, let's put a lot of energy into into to figuring out this thing. But you know, as long as the sun is shining in the sky. Or headlights are are shining in the road. There's going to be sources of light, and they're going to obstruct your ability to resolve objects in your scene, and that's going to cause computer vision issues. Uh, and you know, I guess the issues of redundancy and uh, you know having kind of sensor fusion across multiple systems, and you know having uh, radar and lidar to back up the cameras. I mean, I guess I wish I wish that these cars would have all kinds of systems to improve safety, but they have to deal with the cost issue as well. And so uh, I guess I'm excited to see technologies that are able to maintain the image quality of the camera by cleaning, cleaning the camera. Um, I'm excited to see new materials um, that are, um, you know, improved coatings that, you know, help help the, the camera to repel uh, debris and, you know, mud and dirt uh, from the road. Uh, those are going to be really important uh, to having automotive camera systems be 
safer than the humans, which right now I'm, I'm, we're not there yet. Uh, and, um, you know, we got to keep pushing the quality and in order to get that, that really good input to the machine vision system, because if it's, if you don't have good input to your system, well, garbage in garbage out. And, you know, there's going to, these vehicles are going to, to hurt people. Uh, if if um, we're trying to save cost on these components. So well said, Henry. Speaking with Henry Corrin, Chief Product Officer of Imitest, talking about the Imitest benchtop test stand, as well as the latest standards and then ways we can make automotive camera systems more robust in the interest of safety. Henry, always a pleasure to have you with us. I look forward to being able to uh, sit down and do this again one day real soon. But in the meantime, Thank you for sharing your expertise and thought leadership and being with us today. Thank you, Carl. And thanks to everyone who is listening. For more in-depth interviews like this, subscribe to the AutoSense YouTube channel and follow AutoSense on LinkedIn. For more information about our world-class events, visit auto-sense.com. That's auto-sense.com. In Detroit, on behalf of AutoSense, I'm Carl Anthony.